What if I told you that almost everything you see around you, planets, stars, your own body, gets 98% of its mass from a source that has nothing to do with the Higgs boson? For decades, physicists believed the Higgs field was the answer to the question, why does matter have mass? But there was a problem. Experiments at the Large Hadron Collider showed that the Higgs mechanism accounts for less than 2% of the mass of protons and neutrons, the building blocks of nearly all visible matter. So where does the other 98% come from? A new breakthrough from Jefferson Lab finally reveals the answer. According to quantum chromodynamics, QCD protons aren't simple particles. Inside them, quarks interact through the strong force, carried by particles called glue. But these gluons don't behave quietly. They constantly interact, explode into existence, and vanish again in a fraction of a second. This wild activity transforms nearly massless bear quarks into so-called dressed quarks, surrounded by a dense cloud of quarks and glue. And these dressed quarks suddenly weigh around 400 MeV each, hundreds of times more than their original mass. In other words, mass ISNT something. Particas have it as something they gain from the chaos of the strong force. Using the Class I to detect a machine the size of a three-story building scientists compared 30 years of experimental data with advanced theoretical models, and they confirmed it. The strong force dynamically generates the mass of the proton. Earlier experiments covered only about 30% of this mass-forming zone. The new one to give electron beam extends that to about 50% and future high-energy upgrades may finally let scientists map out the entire process revealing exactly how most of the mass in the universe is born. So the mystery is solved. The universe is heavy, not because of the Higgs, but because of the raging storm of energy inside every proton.